You know what? It's better to be tardy to the party than not show up at all. So here we are. The Protect the Yacht Mr. Beast challenge came out a few days ago, and I'm a little late to it, but I'm here now. It's gonna be okay. One more thing before we get started. There's a little uh, pack in the shop. This thing gives you all of these. Pretty cool. If you're gonna be buying that, go ahead and type this in for me. Thank you. Hold up. Why do you start with towers? That's gotta be easy, huh? They're already upgraded and everything. Well, we got two tier threes and they come in on these uh, shipping crates and come around to the yacht. So gotta stop them from doing that. It's round 50, goes up to 90 and we have $15,000, 150 lives, 175 with the shield. So honestly, I don't know if this video is gonna be three minutes long or 20 minutes long. I've never tried this. I don't know how hard it's going to be, but we should start. Since this is all like sponsored for Mr. Beast, I'm assuming it's going to be pretty easy, right? Why don't we just go ahead and upgrade to like this guy, 402, and this guy to a juggernaut with quick shots, right? That, that could take care of it. So round 50 is a Moab and a few leads. Oh my God. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Oh, we can put something on top of the boat. Okay, no more shenanigans. They can't even hit the crates though. That kind of sucks. Let me just see how this would be. We got a main Moab, right? So that on strong. And then this guy can be clean up. It can't hit them coming in, but it comes in. And yeah, we're okay with round 50. I don't know. The sniper's not the best because it can't hit half the map. But once they come in range, it'll be all right. Oh my God, we leaked? Okay, camos. Why is this harder than I thought? I want you guys to keep in mind, if you've never seen me before, I'm kind of garbage at this game. I just use a lot of mods. I'm just genuinely confused. Why are these here? Do we need to use these? What if we got one of these? We go with, is it bottom path? I think it's bottom. Yeah, Spectre, once we can afford it, maybe. More Glaives and Red Hot will be good for cleanup. Same with the Juggernaut. I feel like we gotta, we gotta incorporate them somehow. And then maybe we'll get the Sniper up top, put it back on strong. Nope. Oh my god. I don't care. I'm getting an engineer. So we're gonna go sentry expert with pins. Actually, no. Let's uh, reposition these. We go here and here. Two sentry experts. We can go ahead and give everything a village with radar scanner. That could take care of round 90. Coming in. Okay, I need to read the rules. These have extra health, don't they? Balloon speed. Not extra health. Am I crazy? Like, am I actually crazy? What if we use Oban? We go for a little Druid strategy. So Oban right here, and then we go Druid. How many will we be able to get? If we get like, um, let's just start with Druid of Wraths. Okay, right there, right there, here, and here. We'll have enough for two Poplus. Yeah, how big is the range? Yeah, those are good. So two Poplus right here. We can throw Oban's Brambles down. It's not gonna help too much, but those come in. No way. I was expecting this to be so easy. I, I'm just terrible, I guess. So a spike storm is 5,000. We have enough for that. That'll be able to hit camo and lead. And then this guy will be more glaives. And this guy will be quick shots. As long as the ability loads in time, come on, press it. Go, 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 go. Okay, yeah, that works. Oh, come on, dude, the ability is so slow. Ugh. There's a lot of room in the water. So I'm assuming we should probably use some water towers. We get two destroyers. Can't fit a submarine right here. I wanted to get like a balloon toning reactor, but that's not gonna work. Then we'll just get one more sniper and we'll try to get that to main Moab. We have a free glue gunner as well. Put that down, put it on strong. So they come in and we didn't take any leaks. Okay, that's good. Yeah, dude, boats are crazy. We gotta we got stick to this. I took some leaks there, no way. Oh, camos, what am I thinking? Yep, super monkey. We're gonna go ultra vision, dark knight. Coming in, getting hit, and no. Um, what about two necromancers? We put them all the way down here, like that. Those can hit camo, and to take care of leads, we can go a couple wall fires. I wish this guy was a 003 instead of 300, because then we can get, like the bottom path is so much better. Like we get a Moab press. We can sell him. Okay, wizards didn't even work, not even close. Carpet of spikes, we give all of these guys camo detection. Activate this as soon as possible. Shabam, jungle drums. Um, faster throwing, nope. What if instead of going for the spike storm, we go like top path? Cause yeah, we can put it on top of here. I just, I completely forgot about that. That's a perfect spike factory placement. We go spiked mines and even faster production. Or should we go with the, um, no, 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 we don't need smart spikes. So these will come in, hopefully get taken care of. Yeah, 
That's so much better because I can hit anything too. Okay, cool. Round 51 is done. That can take care of uh, camos. Perfect. I still think we need to like incorporate this guy. It's upgraded for a reason, right? More glaives and red hot rings. And then once again, we get a village and this guy will be 220 or maybe even like 420. Yeah, look at this. This is easy now. Once you get the ball rolling, nothing crazy. This could be your little uh, tutorial, I guess. Radar scanner, bigger radius, and jungle drums, because that'll make this guy produce a little quicker too. And then I guess let's upgrade this guy as well. I think we should put him on last though, because he'll hit down the track. Yeah, yeah, that'll be perfect. So we'll go juggernaut, um, quick shots, very quick shots. So like that'll hit the last ones on the track. You see that? Go straight down the line instead of going boop, 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 missing everything. I think our defense is looking solid right now. I'm gonna go for Obin right here and then i want to i still want to go for the druids i feel like that would be so good so we go for druid of wrath uh thorn swarm i guess pop plus while we're at it might as well and that way if we do take any leaks this guy will like get better all right another pop lust we got the bfb coming in let's go for another one like i guess it doesn't matter too much we can get it right here i think in the end i'm gonna get another village up top so all of these guys can see camo because not all of them can that took care of it. No problem. Okay, yeah, we, we've got a good strategy going now. 30 more rounds, light work. Haven't even struggled in the slightest. Go for another pop lust and we need three more, I believe. Oh, that was kind of scary. Damn, all those, uh, yeah, these ceramics, look, they get pretty far. I don't like that. The good thing is with the spiked mines, it creates an explosion every time one of the spikes like runs out or gets hit enough you know the maximum boost is five so we need two more right here so pop lust again wait why does that not have a five times boost one two three four five oh because it's not a pop lust duh. there we go so maybe by round 90 we'll have enough for the avatar of wrath we want that but before we do that we get another village right here and a radar scanner and then one final thing alchemist baby get you down and we'll just get him up to a 420 there's literally no chance we'll be able to get a perma brew by the time this is done oh wait a minute i just realized we have opens wall of trees now and put it like right here if i do that is it going to cover both tracks but that's like an extra layer of protection essentially like a second spike factory um berserker brew stronger stimulant and perishing potions okay so i guess at this point we kind of just wait and see if we can take care of it We got the ZOMG coming in. I think this might be the hardest round because DDTs are not going to be a problem because of this. Actually, no, because there's going to be multiple ZOMGs later, but I genuinely don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. They come in, they get exploded by these. And yeah, we're good. Ah, let's do it. Ultra Juggernaut. Might as well get this to tier five. Yeah, look at that. Taking care of everything. Go ahead and get primary mentoring. Now we're looking solid. We've been looking solid for a minute, but now we're looking even more solid. Can you place anything else on the... Oh, you can! It doesn't have to be on the top. and can get right here, right here, right here. We got to incorporate that. I'm getting this guy. Once again, set it on strong, upgrade it to a main Moab. And I think that should be it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. It's round 90. And we have a good amount of money to work with. Do we have enough for another one of Spike Storms? Might as well get that. And are we going to have enough time from when the DDTs come in to activate it? So these are not going to be a problem whatsoever. We're almost there. Come on. Click, 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 click. Fast. Take care of it. And that's going to be it. Victory, ladies and gentlemen. Phew, that yacht was in a lot of danger, but you protected it. Damn right I did. Overall, pretty easy challenge, but it was fun to do. Good job, Mr. Beast. Thanks for watching. Adios.